Scorpio. Y'all know I had to come through and do y'all reading, okay? So let's get it for y'all. I don't put any time frame on these readings. Whenever you see this reading, you're meant to see it. Let me turn down the turn down because I'm too turned. Hold on. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. For real though. So no time frame on this reading. Whenever you see this reading, you're meant to see it, okay? I did have some energies that were adamant on flying out when I was doing a pre-shuffle. We have crown personal power so taking your personal power back in a situation um some type of opportunity with key and then divine guidance with stars i'm going to put this back in we are going to shuffle okay and get into this reading all right scorpio turn this so you can see your spreads then what all right Let's get into your read. I think I'm going to start you guys off with the Moonology deck, okay? The messages that we have for Scorpio, the collective of Scorpio. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, Scorpio, let's get it. Hope all of you guys are doing well. All right, Scorpio. What messages do we have yet for the collective Scorpio? This car is just a flipping out. So we have your energy, Scorpio. Full moon and Scorpio. Time to release negativity, okay? Let's get into this message. Wrapping things up, full moon, okay? Letting things come to a close. We have at the bottom of the deck, the answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini. All right, let's get into this. Hold on, Scorpio, give me a second here. Okay, all right. So it's time to release negativity. It's recommended to release negativity at this time. It's full moon in Scorpio. Full moon in Scorpio. If you've been feeling paranoid and acting weird, take this card as a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. <laughs> One thing. Right, Scorpio. Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around the situation you're asking about. If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time for you to release them. This card heralds an emotionally intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. It's time for you to feel all your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when you pull this card if that's the case take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic for some however this card has a totally different meaning your sex life can improve now if you make an effort use your magic you have all you need inside you to bring about your desired results attune to the moon emote it's all better it's all better out than in. Additional meanings for this card. It's time to move from living fearfully to living joyfully. Your right to have your suspicions. Grudges are toxic. Let something go. The end of an argument. The full moon in Scorpio has a sting in its tail. It can herald a vindictive end to a relationship. It can also be a time when you want to be good, but when but we're naughty <laughs> if you pull this card no matter when your dark side and your shadow self may be showing the full moon in scorpio is also a time of magic if you were thinking of making some magic this is your sign to do it okay let's get some more messages let's expand on this let's see what the full moon on okay all right my scorpio babies 
And y'all, I love um, bringing y'all these messages. Okay, so please hit the like, the follow, subscribe, comment so I can get in this algorithm. All right. All right, my Scorpio baby. Scorpio, please, what messages do we have for guidance for Scorpio? Something coming for full circle, a completion, a wrap up of something. Okay, for some of you guys, it is a a completion, but it's a good completion, reaching a, a milestone of some sort. Some of you guys, it's a total release, an end of a journey. Okay, moving on, being able to uh, broaden your horizon in some way but being able to move on home let me lock this door y'all because i already know somebody gonna bust it okay yep but things coming full circle completions um, of some sort okay something that was is being released that is negative whether whether it's releasing a grudge um let's get some more information let's get it scorpio Like, I did y'all twice this week, Scorpio, because I just love doing y'all reading. I don't know. And y'all the total opposite sign of, of me, I'm Taurus. But um, I love y'all energy. <laughs> I have a lot of Scorpio on my chart anyways. So, I love my Scorpios. Um, so, love. Hmm. So, this could be a grudge around a love situation or something that had ended um, in a nasty way around a love situation. For some of you guys, um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's keep going. Because we have here the wrapping up, a completion of some sort. Some of you guys need to, yeah, wrap up a love situation. It's the end of the road there. Um, faced with a decision at this time, a crossroads, whether to move on or to continue to focus on this love. It could be love of a job. It could be little love, relationship, romantic. This right of initiate initiation energy is stalking the signs. It's like the universe really asking for a lot of us to let go of things, to release negative things, to release things that are just an old story, whether it be love, career, finance, relationships, um, and testing us for this right of initiation, seeing if what we really want our life to look like matches our actions. Are we going to move forward and let things fall to the rear view? Are we going to release negative mindsets? Are we going to, you get what I'm saying? Like a rite of initiation to see if you're going to complete this old and move into this this next, this new. I mean, you guys, the reward will be once you close things out, really work on something and release it, new love, new love and a job a new uh, romance, a new love partner, but in the midst of decision and being the universe eyeballing you, yes, to see what decision you're going to make. If what you are saying matches what you really want and they're paying attention to your actions to see if you cap or not, or not, okay? So at a crossroads. Just saw toxicity, okay? Releasing toxicity, releasing toxic situations, people, places, things, releasing negativity, whether it's, um, you know, you being negative, holding on to grudges, holding on to past situations. Um, so we have potential. Some of you guys, this is um, potential around a business, something you've been working really hard on, okay? Your investment paying off at this time, a milestone of a uh, time of success. Oh, dating again, Lord, I'm asking. Okay, I'm gonna get quite a few, a few of these Ascending Life Oracle cards though. We have dating, so being open to love at this time. 
um, some for some of you guys, someone does have feelings for you. Someone wants to ask you out on a date. This does have uh, this relationship or this. There's potential around this um, situation. Some of you guys might be feeling a lot more flirty, want to get out there into the dating world. But really not carrying any baggage into this next chapter, whether it's the next relationship, whatever it is, okay? Um, really releasing the negativity, working on that. Karmic justice, okay? So, karma. <laughs> At this time, completion is being wrapped up in some type of way. Um, it, it's getting what you deserve. So whatever actions, whatever energy, whatever you have put out there is just that the karmic justice coming into play at this time. Okay, getting what you deserve. Learning from lessons. If something came tenfold, I mean tenfold or came around full cycle and slap you in the face um learning from those lessons okay karma really making wrongs made right at this time and if you put out there you know whatever you do i hate to say good or bad but um low vibrational or high vibration or whatever was given out coming full circle so we have thorns <laughs> yeah life is testing you okay so definitely like i was saying i'm feeling like a test like hard choices at a crossroad um maybe some hard choices that you have to make or feels like a hard choice that's being made, a sacrifice that's being made to be able to, to prevail, to reach a milestone, to complete something, to succeed, okay? Whether that's letting people go, letting situations go, okay? But life is testing, like, what are you going to do? Are you going to, you know, let this go in order to succeed? Something that needs to be let go of anyways because it's negative, okay? You may feel like a painful sacrifice, but you're looking at the bigger picture. You're like, I need to do this for myself or I need to do this for my family or whatever, whatever. So this is going to, by doing that, this is going to be that bridge that is going to bridge that gap, literally. Um, have you walking over this bridge into another phase of life? There are tests right now that are being thrown out for damn near everyone to see if you are going to transition, if it's time for your metamorphosis, if it is time... Uh, if you get that cap and gown and graduate and let shit, you know, fall to the uh, to the wayside that is just, it's completed its course. It's completed its course. A step into this new potential. Okay. A transition. Yeah. For some of you guys, I just saw, yes, it may be uh, letting go of toxic friends letting go of the group that you were around for so long people you were around for so long okay that were i hate to say the word negative but that were negative um but you have evolved you've grown out of that and you're making that painful sacrifice of you know distancing yourself from those um type of situations people etc because that's just not does not match you anymore okay Stepping into this potential. So we have lightning. Um, that lightning energy is going to be um, for a lot of you. Sudden, fast change that comes in. Okay. Or sudden, fast, uh, good results that come in around a business. Something you've been working hard on. Um, definitely some growth. An investment paying off. Some of you guys love striking you unexpectedly. For sure. Someone asking you out on a date, you ain't see it coming. A decision for some of you guys. 
that you will have to uh, act quickly and may require you to make a, a sacrifice or be faced with a decision or a choice. Okay, higher power. Okay, so really making choices for your highest good right now. Okay, looking at the bigger picture. It may be a painful sacrifice. Uh, you may know it is negative, ne negative or does not fit you anymore. But you know this is um, something that is required for you to be able to evolve. For you to be able to make this transition and move on to the next chapter yeah the divine higher power wants to lead you into this to this new chapter this new phase for a lot of you but there may be some sacrifices and painful decisions that need to be made to be able to reach this potential this milestone this um to get to this other side here okay uh Again, this card is stalking at the bottom of the deck. Again, friendships. Letting go of toxic friends. Changes in friendships. Okay. All right. All right, Scorpio. We have 16 minutes. I got a lot of personal readings to do. Uh, the link is in the description if you need your personal read. Let's move on to... I reach for the sign of the time, so let's do it. What message for... Um, for Scorpio, please. My Scorpio baby. What message do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio. One message for Scorpio, please. I'm being called to pull from the Art of War Oracle deck, so I will do that next. What message do we have for Scorpio? Power shells, huh? Abundance. Uh, for those, for, for Scorpio, there is some type of potential for you guys that have been putting in the work um, around an investment paying off, a business growing steadily, promotion, abundance. Something like that, okay? With the Kari show. Abundance, number 25. Let's get into it. At the bottom of the deck, we have three yield patients. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, Scorpio. Number 25. I got drip. Let's see. I got drip. Let's see. I got my phone over here playing. I woke up very early this morning. I'm trying to stay awake. <laughs> okay. 25 Kari shells. Abundance. Welcome in abundance because it's yours. Oh, they're gonna try to hit a bitch with the copyright. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Um, welcome in abundance because it's yours. The cowrie shell has been used as currency for centuries, and people still adorn themselves with the shell in the form of jewelry and charms. Welcome in abundance because it's yours. Wealth is coming your way in the form of financial prosperity, leisure time. And peace of mind you might receive an unexpected windfall begin a fulfilling romantic relationship or gain support from someone with valuable resources and connections so this may be um, a new friendship or some friend that puts you on to something because they're connected they're able to link you to a new opportunity Hmm. Um, you might receive an unexpected windfall begin a fulfilling romantic relationship I definitely see that here for many or gain support from someone with valuable resources and connections your ability to manifest is heightened so it is important to believe you are worthy so crucial releasing any negative thoughts mindsets at this time okay let's get our mind in check like I always have this here because I'm not perfect. I do these readings. I motivate people. 
but I'm human sometimes or I fall into that same trap of my mind just be everywhere sometimes doubt you know pessimism so I keep things around me to remind me how grateful I am and to get my motherfucking mind right to get it in check okay get your mind right get in the vibration to receive your manifestations mind will make you or break you i'm telling you so your ability to manifest is heightened so it's important to believe you are worthy of your desires remember your hard work has not been in vain investments paying off for many Remember your hard work has not been in vain and the abundance coming towards you is well earned. The Kyrie shell also speaks of fertility and creation. So be ready for gifts from the universe. So there may be um, some of you guys, whatever you do, it requires creativity, whether it's drawing, whether it is spirituality, whatever it is. Um, definitely has potential okay so be ready for gifts from the universe fertility and creation so growth growth expansion um, additional meaning successful projects okay a new work that may require hard work but definitely p potential um, success I see here also with the world, okay, fulfillment time, time to reap what you sown, okay, right by the karmic justice. So if you have put in that work, you're going to see results, you're going to see some type of success, whether it's huge, I hope it's huge for you guys, or small. Um, if you have not done nothing, you haven't planted anything, ain't shit going to grow, okay? Um, I love you Scorpios, but it is never too, never too late to, to start on something. So new job offers a fertile time and harvest season. And I believe we have a full moon coming up. Harvest full moon. A lot of people that have been putting that in that work, continue, keep going, release what needs to be released, get ready to step into a new chapter, um, and reap the harvest of what you've been working towards okay abundance cowrie shell i love it okay i'm putting your big boy drawers on big girl panties on and releasing what needs to be released so we're not bringing it into we ain't dragging that shit over the bridge with us we just not doing it okay no scorpio new, another phase a new phase of life all right oh Scorpio, if you have a question, now would be the time to ask it, okay? Angel Oracle. Uh, Angel Answers Oracle. What message do we have for Scorpio? A Scorpio, please. here we have success and listen to your intuition let's get into it abundant success <laughs> listen to your intuition yes ma'am peaceful resolutions at the end or at the bottom of the deck i said at the end so at the end peaceful resolutions i say what i said listen to your intuition Your intuition is completely reliable and accurate at this time. Listen to your own inner guidance and you can't go wrong. You can be certain that the messages you're receiving from your angels are real and trustworthy. Have faith in your feelings about the circumstances you're experiencing. Your insights into other people and their true feelings or motives are perfectly accurate. 
there is no need to question what you know is true okay so some of you guys got an intuition about person place thing okay or maybe someone you're dating um really connected to spirit at this time aligning with your higher self listening to your intuition okay about a situation and using that intuition to guide you and, and um make the best choice for your highest good okay so we have success Congratulations, Scorpio. You are on the road to success. You needn't have any reservations about your situation as it's going to work out beautifully. Part of living a successful life is taking care of yourself. Doing what's best for your higher good, your highest good. It's wonderful to have many things to be grateful for, but make sure you don't wear yourself down by working too hard, okay? Take time to enjoy peace in your life what is the point of working so hard for stuff if you can't enjoy it if you can't have downtime you get what i'm saying so take that in mind okay i love it okay shall i yeah let's do the rebel deck hell yeah let's do the rebel deck this deck plus is you know you already know that i do as well so let's get into it they are very harsh as well very blunt these cards. Oh. Shit is going down at your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Whoever that applies to. One message for Scorpio, please. Two of these cards came out for Sagittarius, okay? So, just letting you know. Just the Sag reading. Two cards came out. Same two cards for Sag. Sag in your chart, check it out. You need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. Yeah, some of you guys um, want to take into consideration some downtime to be able to do yoga, meditate, um, just enjoy the fruits of your labor. You get what I'm saying? And not burn yourself out. That's all. Move the fuck on, Flash. Uh, what else for Scorpio? Give me one more, please, for Scorpio. Collective of Scorpio. If you need your personal read, the link is in the description or the comments. Okay. So, you are talented and fucking amazing. You have a lot of potential, Scorpio, okay? Um, the world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit. So using your intuition, I was touching on that subject. If you think someone is lying, they are. Okay. I want one from the old style Lenner man. Lenner man. I don't know how to say this thing. So let's just deal with it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. For Scorpio, please. Any message we have for Scorpio? Message for Scorpio, please message do we have for my Scorpio babies yeah all right sun hey Scorpio don't be afraid to release negativity and you have to really sit and analyze and think what just does not fit you anymore what is negative what is negative situation negative people whatever where it fits you already know i gotta go through that whole spell again um but know that the, the sun is shining on you okay we have the sun energy which in the tarot would be the most optimistic happiest card in the deck number 31 definite potential um Remaining optimistic, being optimistic through any changes. The sun, love coming in for some, okay? Um, making those changes, making those sacrifices, 
but still being optimistic, looking at the bigger picture, saying it is for the greater good. Okay, so that I can reach the success, etc. Abundance and the sun. Listen to your intuition at this time. We have mice at the bottom of the deck. Okay, it's giving me toxic. Um, we didn't pull from the magical going oracle deck, did we? We did not. Follow, subscribe. We doing this raffle, I swear. <laughs> oh my God, I, I got so much to do. But um, you have the chance to win this deck. I created the magical going oracle deck. Okay. By following or subscribing, depending on what platform you're watching this on, okay? Or free reading from me. You get to choose. What message do we have for Scorpio? Let's shuffle one more time. Scorpio, please. Scorpio. What message do we have for Scorpio? Manifest that shit. Manifest that shit. All right, some of you guys might uh, want to do your magic, honey. Okay. Break out that book of spells or whatever, whatever. But um, abundance and success, that is the energy that supports right now the sun. Wicked Witch, Waiting Game, and Hood Ridge, huh? Mm hmm No message for Scorpio. We have Psychopath out. So if you have really, if you have not been feeling like yourself, okay, I remember this card saying, you know, work on getting back to you. They say cut that shit out, but you know, sometimes it's not just that easy. So really um, pulling yourself back in an optimistic mind frame. Getting yourself together, getting your mind right to be able to receive these manifestations. Getting in the vibration to receive these manifestations, Scorpio. Let's pull a couple more. And then we'll close it out with the um, fortune cookie oracle deck for you guys. Oh my god, I knew. I knew I was going to forget to pull from the... Um, what I said, the Art of War deck. We gonna do that, Scorpio. I said I wasn't gonna make these readings too long. I said that every time though, so. So invest. So here we have an investment for uh, Scorpio that is paying off, okay? With this potential and this invest here. And this may come in quickly. Um, it may require you to take quick action, um, but something may come in quite quickly quickly for you around an investment that is going to pay off okay it may require you to make a fast choice as well a decision behind it what message for Scorpio please Yo, y'all like my um my coffee mug? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all like get back to the reading. I just be hanging out with y'all though. <laughs> it's a move over hot girl summer. It's spooky bitch season. I love this season. Okay, y'all about to see all my Halloween stuff out because I feel like it just passes way too quickly. I'm about to put up my decorations, all that good stuff. Start carving some pumpkins with my baby. All that good stuff. What message we have for Scorpio? Yeah, Rover Hot Girl Summer. Okay, don't test my gangster. Mm. Somehow, y'all need to put down boundaries with somebody. 
or listen to your intuition if you feel like they testing you against it by just telling blatant lies to your face <laughs> know thyself cleanse your space some of you guys releasing negative activities releasing negative people cleansing your space being aware of, of pessimistic low vibrational people that come into your space okay knowing thyself so they cannot um, have you fall into those low vibrations some of you guys for sure around a new business there is potential um, an investment hard work paying off seeing a business steadily grow seeing those followers grow seeing success something like that okay as you can see the pentagram here okay some of you guys if you you're putting that work you make it do what it do candle magic whatever whatever hey do your thing okay let's put it in the order that it came out i'm gonna pull another one for scorpio please A message for Scorpio. All right, speak your truth. Stop holding your trunk, your tongue. Express yourself. It's time for truth. Some of you guys, it's time for some type of truth. Okay, some type of truth. It may be that uh, you moving on, you're releasing this. Hey, well, are you too toxic? I got to go. I got to walk over this bridge. <laughs> okay. Either way, express yourself. Progress ahead, undeniably. Undeniably. But there will need to be some endings, okay? It is recommended. I don't like to sit up here and act like I'm telling anybody what to do. I will read the energies for you. Everybody has free will. But I show you and the cards show you, you know, if you take this route, that's what you're going to get. If you move forward, this is what you're going to get. Okay, so progress ahead. That means looking ahead, moving forward, going ahead. Okay, so I said I was going to pull from, yeah, let's do it. The Art of War deck. Let's get it for Scorpio, please. What message for Scorpio? What message do you have for Scorpio, please? <laughs> what was it? Pick your battles. What message do we have for Scorpio? Feel... Feel the fear and do it anyway. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Hard choices, okay, to prevail. Releasing things it can be scary, but feel the fear and do it anyway. Nelson Mandela once wrote, the brave man is not he who does not feel afraid. Let's keep it 100, okay? We all... Um, are human so we get those emotions of fear anxiety at times it is what it is but it's how you work through it okay the brave man is not he who does not feel afraid but he who conquers that fear if you need to do something fearful remember president roosevelt declaration de declaration that we have nothing to fear but fear itself face it Share your fears with friends that you can trust, please. There is safety in numbers, and if you feel safe, you feel you will feel braver. Safety in numbers. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. So some of you guys, you really have some of you guys have some real friends some good friends that um when you say let's ride baby they finna ride <laughs> okay and help you do some shit which is good that's that's beautiful but for you know where it fits if it waiting game again under that 
waiting for something or someone, expecting to hear news. Okay, okay. Putting your life on hold, prepare, ready, and waiting. But yeah, yeah, sidetrack. Yeah, some of you guys may be attracting like some good friends, good tribe. But we have waiting game here. I know, Scorpio, some of you guys are not putting your life on hold, waiting around a love situation. Someone's trying it, testing your gangster, and um, you know you need to just shut this person or the situation down and look ahead. So feel the fear, do it anyways. The brave man is not who he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. I wish they would just speak in English. He who. Okay, so yeah. Let's. All that extra shit. Pull from the fortune cookie oracle. No. I am going to wrap this up though. But let's pull from the stripper. The stripper oracle. The message for Scorpio, please. And then the fortune cookie oracle. One message for Scorpio, please. One message for Scorpio. So we have boundaries test. Playing by the rules will not get you noticed at this time, Scorpio. It's time to think outside the box. Be resourceful by looking beyond common boundaries. Sexify it. Suggest sexiness without screaming it. Highlight your best feature and reclaim your sexiness. No harm in spicing up your approach. Okay? Standing out and not playing by the rules, stepping out of your comfort zone, not being put in a box, okay? Money hungry. Happiness from money is fleeting. It's more important to have a sense of purpose than being money hungry. Having a strong sense of purpose will lead you to a happier lifestyle, okay? So not chasing the money, but chasing your dream, chasing purpose. Illusionary trap, feeling trapped is only an illusion believe you have the strength to overcome this temporary stagnation you feel like it's a waiting game um, and turn the obstacles into opportunities feeling trapped is only an illusion fear is only an illusion believe you have the strength to overcome this temporary stagnation and turn obstacles into opportunities Striptease. Like any striptease, it's important not to reveal it all prematurely. You may re may require a sly approach to get the job done. Make sure not to shy away from it. Get creative with it. Finesse, finesse, finesse. The wrong kind of approach will end things before they even start. Try not to be overbearing. If you swing and miss, shake it off save face and give it another shot another day divine timing you can relax now and stop worrying there are many powerful enlightened loving beings coming your way to assist you your future is bright and totally flawless let's get into the fortune cookie oracle and wrap this up yeah please hit the like subscribe follow whatever before we get up out of here got one that fell hold on we got love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as a difficult situation will be resolved by a good decision this week. At a crossroads, making the best decision for yourself around some type of love situation. Okay. Um, expressing, speaking your truth. Releasing any negativity. We have positive work outcomes for sure. Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. So an investment of some sort 
as well for some of you achievement enjoy the limelight you've earned it although on the family front someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights let's pull one more at the bottom we have opportunities here one more for scorpio please something flipped over it did burnout okay again scorpio all right um your hard work will see results but your health needs to be maintained so check in with your doctor dentist and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle do not burn yourself out okay that will take a toll on your physical and mental health declutter declutter your life let go of correspondence objects and people you no longer want someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid okay i picked up the deck but this stayed behind property a property pur purchase or sell for many but heed security concerns at any transactions all right scorpio it was a pleasure reading for you guys okay bye bye hot girl summer it's spooky bitch season time <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I'll see you guys in the next read. Later. Mwah.